Through the previous lessons, we've learned enough of the basics to create a good-looking Google Doc. Still, we've only begun to scratch the surface of what these apps can do. In this short lesson, we will make some final checks before printing or sharing this document. On this page, we can see that my computer has identified some incorrectly spelt words. Most computers these days will automatically warn you of spelling errors by underlining the word with a red zigzag. Even if your computer does check spelling as you type, it's always a good idea to run the spell check before you publish. To use Google's built-in spell checker, go to the Tools menu and select Spelling. This pulls up a little pop-up with some suggestions. I'll go through and click Change to use Google's suggestions. Now that our document has been proofread, let's take a good look over the entire document. I like to get an overview of the document by changing my zoom until I can see an entire page at once. Go up to your menu and click the zoom button. It'll be the one with the percentage in it. Change it to something small, say 50%. This lets us get a quick look to see if there are any formatting issues that we need to take care of. Now, if you're using any browser other than Chrome, you can use the print preview function from the file menu. If you're using Chrome, you really don't need the print preview, so that option isn't included for you. Once you've looked over your document, it's time to print and share. Printing works just like you've always done. Go to Google's file menu, not your browser's file menu, mind you, and choose print. If you'd like to save a tree and share your document digitally, go to the right side and click the share button. Here you can enter the names or email addresses of the individuals you would like to grant access. Clicking on the button here lets you set privileges such as can edit, can comment, or can view. If you're submitting a paper to your teacher, leaving them common access is a great way to let your teacher mark up your document without actually changing anything, and if you want, you can accept their changes. Grant view-only access to somebody who you would like to view the work, but not have any editing or commenting privileges. Clicking on the advanced link near the bottom still lets you invite people, but it also allows you to change the general access. Click the change link to see all kinds of options, including public on the web, or allowing anyone with the link to access this document. If you allow anyone with the link to access it, simply share the link here, or on the previous page, click the Get Shareable Link button. Now that you know how to share a document, you'll be able to submit assignments digitally, and share your work without generating unnecessary email copies. Try sharing a document with somebody to get a feel for how it works.